Hey everyone, this is Steve Steele. I'm following up on a question that was posted regarding migrating from the audio units version of Vienna Ensemble to the MAS version. And the question had to do with does the event input plugin work or does the event input work? And the answer is no. And I'm going to show you why. If you go to your plugin preferences, you'll see that you have a selection for a primary plugin format, and it's either audio units or VST. Right now, I've got mine set at audio units. So if you install two versions of, let's say, Contact, one an audio unit, one a VST, Digital Former will choose the audio unit version. However, if you have an MAS version of any plugin that you have also a version in AU or VST, DP will automatically default to the MAS version. So what that means for us is if I create a new instrument, and before I started this video, I enabled the VST version. So right now I have enabled the MAS version, the audio units version, and the VST version. I, don't, I wouldn't normally do that, but I'm doing it for this video just to show a point. And what you can see shows up MAS version, the VST version, mono and stereo, and it shows the, the number of outputs. But notice there's no AU version. So the reason there's no AU version is because I've told DP that my primary plugin format should be audio units. So instead of loading the audio unit version, it loaded the MAS version, but it'll still load this as a secondary. When you look at the event input, you'll notice I do get an AU version and a VST version. What I have here is an MAS version of the server interface labeled it strings, violin is on MIDI port 1, MIDI channel 1, cello is MIDI port 2, I have it on Omni, but it doesn't really matter, I could put it on 1 or Omni, but we'll get back to that in a second. Okay, so, the violin MIDI track is pointed towards that instance, MIDI port 1, MIDI channel 1. Okay, and it plays. However, if I try to select the cello, which is going into an audio unit version of the event input, and it's assigned to the string instance, this one, the same one, on MIDI port 2, MIDI channel 1, which I have this set on, I'll put it on 1. Will it play? No. You can see the MIDI data, and you'll hear it, you might hear the cello actually. Um, See it trying to play? But it, it ultimately won't work, so no. So if you're going to migrate, um, which is a different story, basically, if you've got all your event inputs, all you need to do is when you open your, your project with the MAS server interface enabled, you're just going to have to reassign the outputs so instead of assigning them to event inputs, assign them to different ports. So if, if you had um, an event input assigned to a particular instance and it was um, MIDI input 2, just go over here and go to port 2 and then choose your MIDI channel. And now it will play.
then that's basically how you migrate. 